What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Rays. In today's video, we are going to take a look at one of the cutest and modern relationships on the Riverdale set, Vanessa Morgan and Michael Kopech. We are going to tell you all about their modern love story and how Vanessa ended up saying, yes, I do. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to know more about everything you need to know about pop culture and click the little bell notification to know when we'll upload our new videos. Now let's begin. Michael Kopech and Vanessa Morgan are two household names in their field. Morgan was born in Canada and is known as an actress of several shows until she found fame on Riverdale. And she's also a fiery Aries. While Kopech was born in Texas and has been slowly building up his career as a pitcher. Initially, by being drafted by the rookie-level Gulf Coast League Red Sox. Then he was traded to the Chicago White Sox. He's currently known as one of the fastest pitchers in baseball history and he's a strong-headed Taurus. What do Vanessa and Michael have in common? Both of them are incredibly good looking, have a good social media following, they are just starting their careers, and they are good at what they do. They are young, successful, and have a future ahead of them. But what they actually share is that they want to join their futures and build it together. At 27 and 23 years old respectively, Morgan and Kopech are settling down and setting themselves as one of the hottest young couples in the world of sports and TV. Michael Kopech, White Sox pitcher, and Vanessa Morgan, known for her role as Tony Topez, were working on their careers when a fairy social media godmother came and their love story started. According to the Tribune, Kopech met her on Instagram. Better said, she found me on Instagram. To continue this story, he said, She followed me on Twitter. When a verified account follows you, you get a notification. So I got one and instantly followed her back and messaged her a few days later. Just like our grandparents started to woo each other through letters, DMs are the new correspondence. Morgan and Kopech still use their social media to put a stamp on their relationship status. Morgan shared a short video of the couple on July 4th back in 2018. Both of them were enjoying fireworks in Charlotte, where Kopech pitches for the White Sox's AAA team. What did the caption say? My fave person, heart. Kopech retweeted it. Kopech also said both Morgan and him met up in Chicago early in June 2018 for a brief minute. And then, he flew back to Vancouver during the AAA All-Stars to spend some time off during Morgan's filming schedule of Riverdale. It was impossible to hide it. Here's what he had to say about the trip. It's beautiful out there. I got to blow off some steam. When they were just starting their relationship, Kopech had just ended a two-year relationship. During the same interview, Kopech said that one of the pluses of dating a celeb like Morgan was she has more of an understanding of the schedule. She lives a very busy life, films pretty much day in and day out for 10 months of the year, just like we're here most of the year. We're both very supportive. However, the downfall is that they don't get to see each other as much as people in most relationships do. Back in March 2018, Kopech split from Brielle Bierman just after two years of their relationship. Brielle's mother announced the breakup in What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. She declared that age was the reason for the breakup. She said, Brielle just turned 21. That's exactly what happened, I think. At the time, he was 21 as well, but he was just training and he was off nine of the 12 months of the year. At the end of the day, she's asking what a mother wants. Her daughter wants to live a little before things get too serious for both of them. Earlier this year, Bierman revealed she was a little bit sad over the split, telling HollywoodLife.com she was pretty bummed out, but she got over it easily, and that she's in the middle of the process of trying to figure out who she wants to be. In fact, during their two-year-long relationship, Bierman followed Michael everywhere he went, as it was shown on the reality show Don't Be Tardy, including her decision of possibly moving in with him as he wanted to pursue a career in baseball. At the time of their split, she announced, We have a lot going on right now. We decided it would be for the best. What's meant to be will always be. And then enter Morgan. On the other hand, Morgan has had a private life on her side. Before Michael, there wasn't much about her love life, so when we saw the couple's first posts, we knew we were into some serious relationship. One might think that Michael, after leaving a long and very much publicized relationship, both of them would have kept this part of their lives private, Time proves us wrong. As an added bonus, Morgan is four years older than Michael, but it's impossible to tell. Vanessa has been focused on her career and role as Tony Topez on Riverdale, currently in its fourth season, where she plays Madeleine Petch's girlfriend. 
Both actresses are really close friends, even appearing on Petch's YouTube channel on several videos and Q&As. Both of them are pretty much shippers of Choni, their power couple name, showing how much they love each other as friends. Now let's fast forward to a year later for Kopech and Morgan. They're still together and she basically became a ride or die girl, trying to go to every game she's close to and that fits into her Riverdale schedule. And both of them are pretty open on social media, sharing bits of their lives and relationships. However, just a year later on their coming out as a couple anniversary, they shocked us with more news. They got engaged. Entertainment Tonight reported that Kopech popped the question while on a vacation on July 4th, 2019. On Instagram, Michael shared that he got down on one knee by Arizona's Mooney Falls, and Vanessa shared on her stories how unbelievable it was. Not only did Michael share the video, but he also shared a lengthy love letter in the caption, saying, So I'll start with the obvious. I love you. Kopech also confessed this decision was something very much improvised, writing, I love you intensely, passionately, and also at times recklessly. I make decisions on the spur of the moment. I mean, look at how our relationship has gone to this point. Kopech also confessed he wasn't expecting to propose or marry, but then again, he found his match, writing, I'm a very non-traditional type of person, and I know I found my match in you when it comes to that especially. Our relationship probably doesn't make sense to many people for a shit ton of reasons, but we're not doing it for them. We know this is forever. Why would we wait? LOL. There are many things no one knows about them, but we can tell they've been there for each other, including during the UCL surgery he went through in September 2018. Kopech wrote, You literally stayed by my side when I felt I had lost my mind. You stayed by my side for these seemingly random changes of my life. You stayed when oftentimes I didn't deserve it. You loved me for me from day one, completely unselfishly. You're undeniably the spark that reignited my fire. For Kopech, even this wonderful moment wasn't enough to share how much he loves Morgan, writing, You're deserving of much more than just this moment, but this one just felt particularly magical. I'm incredibly humbled by the love that you give, and I only hope I can portray a fraction of the love and light that you carry with you. I'll never have enough words to tell you how much I love you, but I promise to always show you. He finished off his love letter just like he began with, But for now, I'll finish this how I started. I love you so much, Vanessa Morgan. On her part, Morgan shared a post on her Instagram with the caption, My Forever. She was flooded with congratulatory messages on her post, including some from her co-stars on Riverdale. Madeleine Petch was one of the first ones who wrote, wishing a lifetime of happiness to her on-screen lover, writing, OMG, dying for this post, besties getting married, I'm beyond happy for you, my little babies, laced with several cute emojis. Camila Mendez also wrote, you're killing me, congrats, beautiful, while Charles Melton added a heart for a comment. Lily Reinhardt, Betty Cooper herself, also took the time to express how happy she was for the lovely couple with lots of exclamation points and writing so happy for you Sarah Jeffrey famed from charmed added oh my god Vanessa I am beaming for you too congratulations but can we talk about the ring on this Instagram post it looks like a pear-shaped diamond with a simple band according to Morgan it's white gold and it's described by her as her dream ring she then said the band will eventually be switched up because the original band wasn't completed on time for the trip both of them live together with their three dogs, including a lovely picture with the three of them in graduation caps after their Puppy Academy graduation, and he's on rehab for his elbow injury until his return in 2020. They haven't revealed any of their wedding plans, but both of them are enjoying their special time together and having the time of their lives, both with their careers and their personal lives. And we can't wait to see what will happen next, but we will make sure to follow it on social media, because if the wedding is just as exciting as their engagement, then we will witness one of the most gorgeous weddings of the year or the decade. Meanwhile, we'll keep following their lives to see how much they will grow together. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video on Movie Rays. Thank you.